Hey everybody, I uh, was just uh, out for a drive after getting it all back together and decided I'd <clears throat> finally get to my update video on my findings from when I uh, removed the uh, swirl chambers from the head and installed the BRM intake. Uh, so if you're keeping your BEW intake manifold, which I know most of you won't be, uh, your findings might be slightly different than mine because I have that other manifold, but uh, I can't say anything for sure in that regard. Uh, but as for uh, my findings, um, I notice uh, a lot less smoke now. Uh, not that I had a ton of smoke before, but I definitely have uh, less smoke now uh, with that new manifold and the swirl chambers pulled out of the head. Um, so whether it's just from the intake or those uh, little chamber dividers uh, being removed, uh, I can't say for sure, um, but I definitely notice a significant uh, difference in the uh, smoke output. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure I left off there and got a phone call. Um, but yeah, so definitely a uh, noticeable uh, decrease in smoke output. Um, now with the swirl chambers removed, um, so with that in theory, and I can kind of relay them back to you 
guys. Uh, yeah, other than that, got a car show coming up. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Be heading out to that with a buddy of mine and uh, another friend of mine who does uh, photo and video work. Uh, he's trying to get some more samples of uh, automotive work to see if he can get Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.